So we have our flapping whiskers, now we can do the ears. Should be fairly straightforward. So let's go ahead and let's save this one out as ear flap, just in case I need to roll it back. All right. So the ears should flap at the same, I mean, if, the, if I'm okay with the whiskers and the lag on the whiskers, the whiskers, the ears should basically do the same thing. I'll keep it subtle. I don't want to flap them too much because the ears are a little more rigid maybe. So uh, that's it, it's furthest up and that's it, it's furthest down. And now it's confusing because this was in terms of the head down up, but the whiskers are actually in complete opposition to that if you think about it. So uh, I'm just gonna follow the lead of the whiskers here and ignore the notes. rid of them so I don't confuse myself. All right, so I just want to follow those leads. So, so it's going to be at 1, and then uh, 13 is going to be back up again at 1. 25 is going to be back up again there, and then 7 is where it's going to be the furthest down. So we'll key that. And like I said, I want to keep this pretty uh, subtle. So actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set my pivot to about there instead, so it'll, it'll that'll work. That'll give me some room to work with me down here. Okay, so 13, key at seven. And I, I, set the key, I set the transform, I remove these keys and then set the transform and then reset them because uh, anime will let, actually will let you animate your transform point. Uh, if I classic tween this now, it's gonna slide. And that's another thing that you probably don't ever wanna animate is your, is your pivot point your, or your point, whatever this is called, your uh, your pivot point, your transform point, you never want to animate, change the position of that over time because you'll get things sliding. So that's a problem. So that's why I had to set the pivot first and then set all my keys afterward. Okay, so I, I think we just said this was going to roll forward. I mean, just a tiny bit, just a subtle, and then we can give it a little bit of skew, but I don't like, I don't like skewing too much because it tends to flatten things out. But if it's, if it's a minor, in addition with the rotation, can be okay. All right, so let's key these and tween them, and we'll duplicate our tween span. Alt drag it out, and then uh, that's okay. It's supposed to be there, right? Because 25 is the same as frame one. We just need to give that a new target, and then delete this one so we're back at a clean 24. And let's see how that looks with that ears flapping. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. I haven't been easing any of this either, by the way. I, I don't know if we want to put eases on this. That's a whole other thing. We can do it. We can try and see how it works. So a little aside, and I hate to do this again, but I need to make it clear. Um, easing, if you study traditional animation, where did my stylus go? If you study traditional animation, and this is a timing chart, and even if you know, I guess you're gonna learn. So uh, this is a frame. This, this is showing you timeline, basically. This is a frame in the timeline. And you may, you may see timing charts that do this too. They're vertical, because this is, boop, 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 you've probably seen this, right? And then people like to put numbers and letters and stuff in circles and notate it up. And this is just telling, this is, it's vertical from the top down is the old style exposure sheet or X sheet, uh, which we don't have in, our, in Animate. We have, uh, we have a timeline that's horizontal. So in this case, uh, say this is our, our start keyframe, our A position, and, and then B is over here, end position. And if you want all your in-betweens to be spaced so that you're favoring your start position, in traditional animation terminology, this is called an ease out, because you're easing out of the first drawing. And if you want to, favor your spacing closer to the end position. In animation terminology, this is called an ease in because you're easing into the second drawing. So uh, animate does use the terms ease out and ease in, but they're backwards from how traditional animators um, speak and think. So don't think in terms of out and in, just think in terms of negative and positive. I'm gonna try never use the words out and in again in, in terms of easing, because it's just going to confuse things. But if you think of in terms of like positive numbers are this direction on the number line and negative numbers are this direction on the number line, which is kind of like your timeline sort of in this case, 
think in terms of, you know, negative is this way, positive is this way. If you read from left to right, maybe that will help. I don't know, just some way you can keep that straight. Um, just think in terms of positive and negative. So if I want to ease, put an ease on this ear and I want it to favor, I want it to favor the, the, big, the start position, I'm going to go negative, set a negative value on this span. So I can just set it all the way negative. And then on the way back out, maybe I'll do the same thing because it's always going to be lagging because of the inertia and the momentum. It's always going to be lagging, catching up. So it's always I'm always going to give it a, a, a negative. All right. And now let's see what happens when we this may this may may not work, it may look terrible. We'll see. Can barely even tell. But there's an ease on there. I'll I'll, I'll let that ride. So yeah. And why didn't you flap it? Well the ear may be, you know, cat's ears aren't that they're rigid, right? I mean there's stuff going on in there. So it's it's not gonna flap as 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 much as like a whisker would and i know this is not a real cat obviously so like well you can make it more flappy yeah i could uh, but i just I, I don't want to so i'm just gonna do it this way all right so let's go ahead and do it this way uh on this other one same thing um so one uh i need to set my oh my pivot is set on that one okay cool so one and 13 are and 25 once again and then seven is the furthest forward point and I, whoops f6 and so i'm going to transform this just slightly a little rotation and a tiny little bit of skew and maybe that's all i need and then i'll tween it and then i just set both these two whoops set both of these two negatives and then i just duplicate this set my keyframe at 24 eliminate 25 and then back up and see how's that working Okay, and now I got to do the hat. Let's do the hat. Let's press on.